And now our family in Koromatangi, Kakamega County, is in mourning following the death of their nine-year-old son during an alleged circumcision. The family says the boy is reported to have allegedly bled to death while undergoing the rite of passage at a nearby hospital. Details of this and other stories here now are the county briefs. What was supposed to be a joyous rite of passage for this family turned tragic after their son died while undergoing the cut. The nine-year-old boy is said to have been one among five fathers who had visited a hospital in Kakamega for the cut. Mimi ndo nilitamani sana sisa atairi. Mchoka kwa hea chapter ya kutairi watoto. Lakini mekua maajabu ya kushangasa. Mpotesa mtoto kwa njia ambayo siyelewe. Masa ikakua tu mtoto watuake kwa dawa, malafu tutaelekea nyumbani. Mtoto sahia baadu wana sikia uchungu, wana pinduka huku na huku. Kajaribu kusimama ni kamambia apana rudi kulala kalala. Tuna mshikilia na penduka mwenyewe na kikaa hata kama unesa kumuhita anesa kuangalia. Daktari nilipoangalia mtoto daktari ya kasema endeni nje tusikue watu wengi. Nilipakisha baba yake. Hapo ndo ilikuwa muisho kwa kuona na mtoto. Badai nilisikia mtoto amituwaji. Elsewhere. A section of Kiambu residents living along the Roraka Limuru Road have accused the government of allegedly attempting to deprive them of their land. The residents have been given a 15-day vacation notice to pave way for road construction. Is it assumed that I, I woke up one morning and I constructed my buildings on a road reserve? Contrary to that, I didn't do that. I have all the documents. Na sasa ni hasara kubwa sana ambayo wataenda kwa sababu hii ni jasho ambayo wame, wamekuwa nayo miaka mingi sana kujenga hizi nyumba and youth in Laikipia county have called for the extension of the Kazim Taani program the youth say they have been reaping the benefits of the program saying they stand to lose a lot should the government hold the program gasea hawa vijana kenya mzima nafasi ya miasibaka june wadacha hii Kazim Taani Ukiagalia vijana wengine walikuwa na, na school fees, wengine wako university, orede wameripa na wamerudi, na wale hawajarudi watarudi januari. Kitagwa tuweza hii exercise, hawa wenyewe hawajashoka. In Kajado, the county government is said to revoke illegally acquired title deeds in a joint effort with the national government. This comes as land officials in the county are on the spot for alleged involvement in land fraud, in which dozens of unsuspecting land buyers continue to be duped to buy illegally acquired land. We have designated towns all over the county. And uh, for town planning, uh, you could find a smaller piece of land is smaller than an eighth or a quarter and all that. We absolutely have no problem with that. What we have a problem is uh, using land for undesignated uh, use as set in the zoning policy. This even as police in Isiolo receive two more illegal firearms in an ongoing disarmament exercise in Daadab and other areas of Ngarimara. So far, 12 rifles have been surrendered to security agents in the last one week amid calls for civilians to hand over illegal firearms to boost security and end attacks. <laughs> Finally, a vigorous a tree planting campaign was launched in Balewad, Wundani, Taita Taveta County as part of efforts to realize a 10% tree cover by 2020. Article 69, ina ataka ya kwamba Kenya iwe na 10% tree cover by 2022. Uh, na ningeomba ya kwamba, hii kampina ba tumeleta hii leo ni tungependa leo tujaribu kupanda miti ya fukumi hapa uh, undanyi mbale wad. Kwa sababu mwezi uliopita mwezi wa kumi tumezindua kampini ya One Billion Trees. Tumejaribu kama United Green Movement Party. Tungependa ya kwamba tupande miti bilioni moja kabla ya June next year. The initiative spearheaded by United Green Movement Party saw local residents are mobilized to plant over 10,000 tree seedlings. Yusuf Farah, Channel 1 News.